Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Sam from Rococo and oh my gosh, are we excited about this new update we have coming. We're adding things like retargeting and custom character import within Rococo Studio all in real time. This is a huge addition, but there's a ton more including pose correction, more cloud sharing options, experimental VR chat and VMC live streaming protocols. We're going to get into all the updates briefly in this video, but check out our separate tutorials on all the features for more in-depth coverage or check the documentation. So before we get into all the new features, I just want to talk about the bigger picture for a second. With this update, we've implemented an entirely new underlying animation system. So this is what's allowing us to add things like pose correction tools. And in the future, it will allow us to start playing with things like AI enhancement or control rigs. And we have our eye on all that stuff moving forward. Another advantage of this new system is that each exported mocap clip will now be 25% smaller. So that's great. Clips will load faster. You can work faster. We all like that, right? Okay, let's dive into the new features now. The first huge new addition is both retargeting and importing custom characters. If we open up a new project, we can see we have this new characters section studio now. You may also notice that we've done a visual overhaul of the outliner. If we click the plus, we get some info about the types of characters we can add. And there are some limitations. You can't just import any character. But any character rigged on Mixamo, most using the Unreal Mannequin, characters from AccuRig or Character Creator or Ready Player Me should all work right out of the box. Other models may not because as you can see, the skeleton of the character needs to have one of these standard naming conventions and configurations and needs to be in the correct pose. But let's actually run through it. Let's grab a character that we can upload to Mixamo, rig it up, then we'll download it as a T-pose, and we'll import them into Rococo Studio, and that's it. Now we can just drag them onto our actor, and we can also move them around if we need to. And you can import multiple actors into the same scene. You'll need to have a plus subscription to access character importing, but we plan on adding a bunch of new free characters to the starter plan in the near future. Check out our subscription pricing at the link below if you have questions about this. While we've got a character retargeted in studio, let's go ahead and check out the pose correction tools. So here we have a mocap recording that we made that is clipping slightly because this character has a different body type than me. Currently, you can correct the shoulders, arms, and neck, and this is absolutely massive because it makes it so much easier to get better mocap from differently proportioned characters. And when you're done, you can export your mocap already retargeted to the character, so you don't even need to deal with retargeting in Blender or Cinema or Maya or whatever you're working in. So one thing we're constantly asked about is, can you use the suits in VR? And while it's always technically been possible, it hasn't been easy, and now it's super easy. We'll turn on the VR chat live streaming in studio, then we'll jump into VR chat, turn on the OSC setting, and do a full body calibration. Now we have a working lower body in VR chat, and we're working on adding more to this integration. Obviously, I'm not wearing gloves, but we are planning on adding glove compatibility. And it's important to remember, this is just a beta feature, so more coming soon. Also in this update, you can now create copies of existing scenes, whether they are created by you or by someone else in your team. So this makes it really easy to share projects between team members. If I uncheck this, you can see this scene from my teammate, Jesper. I can't open this, but I can make a copy and have access to that. And this protects the original scene, but also makes it easy for you to share with those that you work with. So those are some of the big changes to Rococo Studio in this update, but we encourage you to check out the release notes to see all the incredible improvements our team has implemented. Stay tuned for a bunch of fun announcements coming soon, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone.